Hi everyone, Coach Steve here with a short video advising how best to return to your training plan post illness or injury. Now, illnesses and injury can happen in your training plan, but do not need to derail your goals or your target race, but you do need to manage it, your return in a very clear manner. So, first thing you need to do, and it's something that a lot of age groupers do incorrectly, you do not rush back into your plan. Because if you do rush back, you risk and are, are not ready, you will risk turning what could be a week um, out due to was it illness or injury into a month um, or more. And it's very easy to absorb a lost couple of weeks from a training plan. It's not if you hit months. Then you're talking about goal reevaluation and race reevaluation. So we want to avoid that. So who controls this? The gatekeeper are either your doctor if you're sick or your physio if you're injured. They are the ones who will clear you to training and ask them, am I good? What can I do? What can I do? By the way, and if you are injured and it's a, a running injury, do ask, can I um, swim? And again, if you, or cycle during this, I said, yes, absolutely. Then load up. Um, so once you've got the sign off, how do you return to your plan? And now, first off, you do not jump straight back in. Um, if, if, if you've missed a couple of weeks, you need to ease yourself back in. You will have lost some training. You will have lost a little bit of fitness. And um, so we work at a progressive way of getting you back in. So I have general rules of thumb in this. And if, if it's, you've lost two weeks, we'll use the example here, um, you can aim for approximately 50% of your schedule sessions, either by distance or duration, um, when you return to training. I'll use an example now. And then hopefully in the second week, if no flags, you're actually back on track of your plan and lost not an awful lot of time. So in our original plan, our athlete was out for two weeks with the flu. And this, and when they're ready to tra uh, train, this is the week they would have returned on. So there's eight sessions and there are a couple of easy runs and a long bike and a long run. So our athlete has two options. One, return for 50% of the sessions. And again, in this, they will take out the swim here on Tuesday, the the, the thir third one on the Thursday, and the long bike on Sunday. So instead of doing eight sessions, they're doing four, but they're completing the entire distance plant. Again, they monitor their body, they listen to their body, if is anything sore, or am I feeling a bit low in energy, and then ease back, okay? Our other option, option B, is to, if they want to keep the kind of schedule and the routine is to complete all the sessions as per planned, but 50% of the distance or duration. For example, the easy run on a Monday goes from six down to three. The turbo on a Thursday goes down from an hour down to 30 minutes. The long bike on a Sunday goes from 60 kilometers back to 30 kilometers. And again, the week after, they, they will be right back on the original plan. Okay. Again, if it's three weeks out, um, I aim for a kind of 33% rule, 66% on the week two, and then the third week you're back on track. Again, it gives you a chance to catch up to the plan without putting yourself under a lot of pressure and allows your body to ease back into the training. Um, if your injury or illness is actually greater than four weeks, you do need to look seriously, review the goal times or your race date as you may have lost a lot of um, enough fitness that you and if depending on the duration of the plan you won't have time to catch up listen i hope that was useful and i um hope you heal well and i hope you recover well but take your time listen to the body and do not turn a small injury into a race threatening one okay have a good day's training folks